y'all welcome or welcome back to chocolate covered pages i'm kiona and welcome to 12 days of vlogmas this is my first time doing it i'm so excited every year i always say oh i want to do it oh i want to do it but i'm not gonna do 25 days i, I can't do it y'all i'm sorry but 12 days I, I i believe that i can make that happen so welcome to day one if you are new here i'm kiona and i like to make bookish videos with a strong focus on marginalized authors so welcome uh, i hope that you will stay make sure you give this video a like make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when i keep posting these videos throughout the month of december so this one is going to be a book haul so let's get into it so this book i got from valentine books all we were promised by ashton Lattimore. i don't really know too much of what this book was about i just knew that there were three black women on the front and it's written by a black author and for the most part that's really all i needed to know and it's historical fiction so i mean we're just hitting all the points that i typically am going to be looking for when i'm blindly saying yes i i want that book send it to me please um so it was sent to me by valentine books and this book actually comes out april 2nd of next year and according to the back this book is set in philadelphia 1837 and it follows three black women one escaped her plantation from the south and she escaped to philadelphia with her white passing father the second woman comes from a well-to-do black family so she's kind of like a socialite and the third black woman actually knows the first woman from the plantation she has come to philadelphia and she is pretty much enslaved it seems like um and the other two women are trying to kind of help her but they might be putting themselves at risk by helping this other woman so um i am excited to see what this book is about again you know historical fiction black people is nothing else to talk about and this one um this is actually one of the out of this entire book haul this is the one that i actually purchased myself i honestly you will be surprised i don't buy as many books as you would think as a content creator that talks about books all the time but what made me purchase what made me purchase this book is that i was searching for something else on amazon i think i was just kind of i do like a little research in amazon seeing like if there's any books coming out that i might have missed you know just kind of searching through and i came across this book and i was like rochelle ellers i don't even know if i'm sorry if i'm i'm butchering that name but i know the name and she has been she's a black author she has been writing books for a long time a very long time and i was like she got a new book coming out like who's her publisher like i did not know she had a new book coming out at all this was i i don't even see where it has been um promoted and that irritated me so i was like you know what i need to buy this book all i knew was that from the cover what made me stop my scrolling is that you see how this black woman has her back turned and she's wearing this hat and she's looking off there's a lot of world world two books that literally had the same type of cover and they you know what i'm talking about they always got on a big ass hat they're always looking off into the sunset like or walking away like you always just see they back and i was looking i was like this woman looks black from behind is she black and then i saw the author and i was like oh just 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 give me it give me this book i want this book right now chow and it's thick too it's thick and obviously it's a historical fiction let me see what year is it okay this one is in 1950s mississippi okay um and it also spends some time in 
Paris and Rome. Okay. Um, through Wall Street's glittering, roaring 80s to present day. Um, I am excited. So, okay. So, Unforgettably Moving Novel chronicles one Southern black girl's remarkable journey through turbulent decades and the four men who challenged her to fight for her happiness. Okay. That's it. That's the post. Like, that is it. I'm, I'm in. You know what I mean? Um, so, I'm excited for this. Um, I'm probably not going to get it, get to it until next year because, you know, she's, she's a bit thick, but I have the audio book. I am set up for success. Okay. <laughs> so I feel good about this, but honestly, still very annoyed. Um, Dafina, Dafina's the publisher. How come we ain't know about this book? And another book that I got, this came to me from Atria Books, um, The Palace, From the Tudors to the Windsors, 500 Years of British History at Hampton Court by Gareth Russell. Now this I'm looking forward to because I, first of all, I really like history, if you haven't realized that about me. I like history, I like historical fiction, but I like real history as well um and i like reading about the tutors what can i say all i like i just i like I, I was watching all of those shows like mary queen of scots um the white queen um what's the other ones um the tutors I love those shows and I like reading about them as well. So I'm looking forward to um, reading this that's gonna kind of just kind of put things in a very clear timeline for me because sometimes I get a little bit mixed up on okay who was the first who was you know what I mean because some of the series are not in order and then they're in on different networks at different times so I'm looking to kind of get my history in order well not my history you know what I mean okay and I got this came from Orbit. This is Warrior of the Wind by Suyi Davis. Suyi Davis Okun, Okung Boa. Good Lord, I'm terrible. Um, this is now, first of all, this, this cover is sickening. Look at that. The Bantu Knots. The Bantu Knots on this. Let me just bring it a little closer. The Bantu Knots on this cover is crazy. Like, love it i absolutely love it i don't know who did the cover art but it's gorgeous um this is book two in this series book one is son of the storm i do have son of the storm it's fantasy sorry um african inspired fantasy which you know i'm 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 all for it. I'm all for African inspired fantasy. Um, the first book I do have it, but it didn't get the best reviews. So it kind of made me pause on picking it up. But I think, but this one seems to be getting pretty good reviews. So I think I may have to just barrel through book one just to get to this one if it's that much better and sometimes maybe series need a little bit of time to kind of get their life together and you know I'm, I'm i'm patient you know and i could probably get it on audio so you know what we'll, we'll see what happens i do love the cover of the first one as well okay the next book i got came from amistad and this is alice walker's in search of our mother's gardens and they have been redoing all of the covers of Alice Walker's books. And I'm here for it, honey. Like, I'm just here for it. Um, I was a very big fan. I am a very big fan of The Color Purple by Alice Walker. And ever since I read that book, I have been saying I need to read more Alice Walker books. Um, I have them all on my Kindle, but I want the physical copies of all of them. So, honestly, like, anytime I 
if I catch them in a in a bookstore, I'm going to grab it. So I definitely said yes to Amistad to please send me this because I want all her books. I just want my library to be filled with rich black stories. Okay, the next book was sent to me by Henry Holt. And this is The Fox Wife by Yang Si Chu. This is the author of The Night Tiger. I did start The Night Tiger, when did I start it? Like a couple years ago, I want to say like two, three years ago, I started The Night Tiger and I was into it. I'm not, I was into it. I'm not even capping right now. I was into it, but then I got distracted by another shiny book. That is literally the story of my life. I'm in, I'm start listening to an audiobook and then, and then something else catches my eye and I'm like, ooh, a piece of candy. <laughs> and then next thing you know, I'm picking that up and then I done forgot about the other book that I was listening to and next thing you know, two, three years go by. Um, but I was liking it. I was liking the beginning of that and I really should go back to it. Um, but for now, at least I have the new one and this one comes out in february oh this come out soon so maybe i will try to read this in january so that i could talk about it in february but we'll see it's a lot of books coming out in february y'all it's a lot of bangers coming out in february but we'll 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 get to that we'll get to that speaking of a banger coming out in february this one that i received is one of my most anticipated books for 2024 Per like period the most anticipated book of 2024 and i'm just so happy and just so thankful that i was able to get an advanced copy and this is brooklyn by tracy brown rest in peace to tracy brown this is her last book that she wrote before she passed away and honestly i have very mixed feelings about it i'm i'm happy that i have a copy i am excited to read it but i'm also very sad i'm very sad that this is her last book and we're not going to um get to experience more of her work and her brilliant mind and and her master storytelling abilities you know i i'm really gonna miss that you know um but I love this cover. Oh, created by Destiny Darcel. And I love her artwork. Um, it is also the same artwork that was on Hold You Down. And I love that cover as well. And it's called Brooklyn. And y'all know how I'm always ride for Brooklyn. So I, I'm very excited. And I, yes. And again, this comes out in February. So shout out. Who sent me this? St. Martin's. Shout out to them for sending me this. Even though I had to ask twice. But we're not we're not going to be petty. It came. It came. So I'm not going to. We're going to move on. <laughs> Alright. Another book I got was Same Bed, Different Dreams by Ed Park. And this was sent to me by Random House. This book is already out. And this, let me see, what is, what is this about? I know the author is Asian, um, and this is set in 1919. Far-flung patriots established a Korean provisional government to protest the Japanese occupation of their country. Hmm. I'm very intrigued, which is why I said, yes, I would like that book. Thank you very much. And I like the cover. I don't know. It's kind of giving a little bit of science fiction vibes. I'm not a big science fiction girl, but you know, I never say never, you know, I never say never. And if the story is intriguing and it's pulling me in from the beginning, I'm going to read it. I don't, I really don't care what the genre is. That is, if you're new here, that is one thing you will get to learn about me is that I will read whatever genre is thrown my way. I read lots of genres, which is why I don't get into a lot of reading slumps. Now, what I do get into is, I don't think that there's a word for it yet, but I get very restless. 
like I'll start an audiobook or I'll start like reading a book and then I'll read something else and then I'll read something else and then I'll read some <laughs> just a little bit it's like I'm taking these little like bite-sized pieces of all of next thing you know like I've had read the first 10 pages of like 20 books and then next thing you know the month is over you know and then it's like well wait a second I know I was reading but I didn't finish anything I didn't get to the meat and potatoes of any of the books that I was actually reading so if you know what the word is for this please let me know down in the comments because I have a vi Y'all, I, I cannot. I cannot. Who? I, I just want to know. Y'all hear? That's my husband screaming on the video game. Now, I done told him that I was recording. But you see, he don't, he, he don't, he don't listen. He don't listen. You know? I'm just trying to make a little video. You know? And I cannot. Who made that game Rainbow? Who made that game? I have a, I have a few words I want to say to them. Okay, another book that I received was The Kingdom of Sweets by Erica Johansson. And this was sent to me by Dutton. And this I know um, the author is also the same author of the Queen of the Tealing series, which people absolutely love. And is another one that I've always wanted to get to. But this is her new one. And this is a retelling of the Nutcracker. I don't know the story of the Nutcracker. So if I was to read it, I can't really tell you if it's, you know, very comparable or not. I would just be reading it as like, is this a good story or not? Or was this written well or not? But I like the cover. Um, it's giving very dark fairy tale. And um, it's been good, getting good reviews. So I'm, I'm interested. And... They decided to send me two copies because, you know, one wasn't enough. <laughs> um, but I'm not complaining. I always get a lot of doubles. A lot of doubles. Um, I do have, over on Instagram, I have what's called a broadcast channel where I pretty much have just people who have joined my own little kind of private community where you'll get like dms from me and that is where i do a lot of my giveaways because baby i do not have the space for all of these doubles i i don't i don't if i was to pull this camera down y'all would see i am surrounded by books <laughs> like, like i need more shelves i have books all over down here like it's it's is really bad it's it's terrible but anyway over on my broadcast channel is where i do all of my giveaways which i call lazy giveaways because i'm lazy and i don't want people jumping through hoops just to get a free book for me that's ridiculous all you have to do is actually just be in the community and you know i'll do like a i, I do them randomly um the broadcast channel is called keeping up with key I will link it down below if you're interested in joining um, so that you could possibly win some of my doubles and also just like, you know, keep up with me, see what I'm going, what I'm doing and stuff like that. Um, I share things there that I don't share in my regular Instagram stories. I will share it in that broadcast channel. Um, like it's like if I went someplace like cute or whatever, I might just show it there. Or if I got some cute book mail, um, I might just just show it there. I also got this book um, called The Liberators by E.J. Co. And this was sent to me by Ten House. Ten House has been Ten House has been doing some really good things. Um, I remember back back in the day. Um, you know, Ten House only had a few books out a year. And now they are killing. Like they are really, really killing. Um, so I am excited for them. Um, because they have been coming out with some really good books over the last couple years. And from what I hear, this one is very good as well. Hold on. 
and I love that it is blurbed by Tayari Jones. She calls this spare, beautiful, and richly layered. The Liberators is dazzling. You know, I typically don't be believing blurbs a lot of times, but for some reason, I feel like I want to believe Tayari Jones. And I also absolutely love the cover of this, and the author is Asian. So, you know marginalized authors i'm 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 more inclined to read it i will say that um <laughs> and this one is set in south korea in 1980 so a historical fiction guys look at that i also got the silence in her eyes by armando lucas carrera and this comes out in january and I believe this is a thriller. Yes, it is. In the spirit of Paula Hawkins and Ruth Ware, a bold and suspenseful, suspenseful psychological thriller about a young woman with a rare neurological condition who is convinced her neighbor is going to be murdered. Ooh. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? And the author of this one is also of color. So... Yep. Interested. This comes out January 16th. Okay. And also, I was sent by Delray Books, the entire Live Ship Traders trilogy by Robin Hobb. So, let's see. I have book one, Ship of Magic. Book two, Mad Ship. And book three, Ship of Destiny. I... I am very excited about these because I've heard nothing but good things about Robin Hobb's fantasy series. Um, she has written a lot of books in this same world here. Um, I did... I didn't finish. But I did read... Um, oh, what's the first one? Um, I'm looking here because it's over there. Assassin's Apprentice. I read... I want to say... I want to say like 50% of Assassin's Apprentice. That is book one of the first trilogy that she makes. And I was enjoying it. But my only issue with it is that it was very character driven. Which means not too much was happening. And for me, when I do fantasy I like it when things are happening. Travel, do some adventure, kill some people. You know, like I I like that. You know? Um I'm not the biggest fan of fantasy where the person is just kind of just their day-to-day -day life. I don't really like stories like that period where it's just day-to-day -day life because then it gets a little bit boring for me. But I am told that this series gets very crazy. A lot of people say that this is their favorite trilogy that's in the entire um, world here. Um, so, But they say that it's better if you read the other ones first that come out before this. And then you get to this one. Because then you can fully understand. And I'm not one of those readers that could just read a later part of a trilogy knowing damn well this two other trilogies before this that I really should have read I, I'm I'm not that risky like <laughs> like I want to fully understand when I get to this one and be like oh okay okay I remember this character and you know I, I want to fully understand I don't I don't like feeling like I'm missing out if that makes if that makes sense but I am definitely looking forward to this and then I also got that time I got drunk and saved the demon by Kimberly Lemon first of all okay so Kimberly Lemon wrote is it three books? It is three books, right? It's three books. Um, I can't tell you the other names of the other two because they're very long and I and I can't remember. But 
these are what people would consider like low stakes fantasy like kind of cozy fantasy kind of um and the main character that we are following following is a black woman we don't get that a lot we do not get that a lot um i started it I want to say like a month ago and then, you know, I did that thing where I get distracted and blah, 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 blah. But from what I was hearing, she's funny as hell. <laughs> like she's funny as hell. Um, these books have already come out, but it appears as if Orbit, right? Orbit has redone all of her covers and they are re-releasing them. I like the covers of the f of the first three that came out before that were already out, but I do like these as well. So, you know, if I really like them, maybe I'll just get both sets. I don't know. You know, it's just crazy stuff that bookish people be just doing. Um, this one comes out in January, so. I mean, look at this, look at this black woman on the front. Like, I just, I just love to see it. I just love to see shit like this. I get, I get really excited. And I would say it's probably comparable to that book series called um, Legends and Lattes that everybody was going crazy for. But this one has a black main character and is written by a black author. So, you know, maybe if you like that series, then you will perhaps pick up this one. I also got these Burning Stars by Bethany Jacobs. This is already out. This was sent to me by Orbit. And this one is set on a planet. Um, so it's giving science fiction. It's giving science fiction, but I am told that this book is really good. It has great reviews. So I'm not going to knock it. I'm interested. What can I say? I'm interested. It's a little long, so that's not surprising at all. I will definitely give it a chance. Okay, and another book that was sent to me um, from Dutton is The Wildest Sun by Asha Lemmy. And this is the author of 50 Words for Rain, which did really, really well. Uh, it got glowing reviews. I think it was also the Oprah's Book Club pick. No, um, Good Morning America Book Club pick. I did not get to that one, but this one just came out. And, of course, they sent me doubles. <laughs> Um, so I will be giving away that other copy fairly soon. Um, now, this I actually did start reading. I'm actually, I want to say I'm like 50% through. So I will for sure be finishing this book by the end of the year. <laughs> this book is about a black girl who... Um, she grew up in Paris and she decides that she wants to travel to New York. So she comes to New York. She stays with this couple. She is convinced that her father is Ernest Hemingway. So she goes on this journey to New York and she meets some other people while she's in New York because we all know that New York has a lot of characters okay um and she is getting wrapped up in other people's lives while she's there and I am while she's also still looking for Ernest Hemingway now does she have any proof that this man is her father where is she getting this from um but she's also writing a book. So she's an author and she also believes that this man is her father. So she's she's actually pretty obsessed about it, if you ask me. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing where this book goes. Okay, what's up, y'all? This is future Kiona here. 
And while I was editing this video, a very special package came in. So, of course, I have to show y'all. It was better for me to just put it into this video and then I could continue talking about it in future videos. So, I purchased a book advent calendar and I'm so excited. This is my first time getting one. So, I'm so hyped. Okay, so... If you don't know what a book advent calendar is, it is basically where you get 12 or 25 books in the mail and they are all wrapped individually. I don't know what these books are, so I'm going to be finding out with y'all. So, <laughs> so these are literally my actual uh raw reactions to these books so what i did was i was trying to find like where can i get this right i went on etsy.com i love etsy and i just put in book advent calendar or whatever and i found this one from this company called the fiction phantom i will link them below if you're interested in buying it for someone else or just checking it out um, I got the one with 12 books and it allows you to decide what genre you want. So there was a few left over. I decided to go with historical fiction. So I'm hype. But what I also did was in the note section, I put authors of color. So anyway, let's get into it. So for each of these 12 videos, I am going to be opening one book per video so you don't want to miss that you know I, I you don't want to miss that all right so let let's open it i got my scissors okay this is the box y'all i ordered it like a little bit late but it actually came pretty fast i didn't think that i thought that i was gonna have to end up opening it on camera by like video number eight or so so i'm glad that i'm able to catch it with video one so let's get into it. oh all right so we got a note here kiona thank you so much for your order we enjoyed picking out these books just for you and we hope you enjoy opening them happy reading kara and chris from the fiction phantom okay 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 i like how these is like set up okay it looked like the the sticker came off this one but oh we got a nice little every time i see these it makes me think of dracula <laughs> i don't know why and they all have like the day on it that I'm supposed to open. Okay, so let's find day one. Okay, hold on. Okay, all right. Y'all, I'm so, <laughs> I'm so fucking hyped. Ah! Okay. Blonde Roots by Bernadine Evervisto. I am excited. Yes. Okay. Bernadine. Now, I do have, I think, one other Bernadine book here. But I have not gotten into her work yet. And I'm so excited to get this. Ah. Okay. Uh, let's see. This is her debut novel, and it says, What if the history of the transatlantic slave trade had been reversed and Africans had enslaved Europeans? Oh, baby. I like, I like books like that. I like books like that. So I... I'm I'm so excited, y'all. I had to I'm so glad I interrupted this video to open this. <laughs> so stay tuned for me opening the rest of the books. I, I'm excited to open the rest of these books. And I'm so happy that there are clearly they're doing some backlist um historical fiction books, and I can appreciate that because 
some of these new books been kind of trash. So, yes, I'm here for it. Anyway, back to the video you were originally watching. Now, I want to show y'all some really fun PR packages that I got. Um, and the first one came from Be Rooted. And first, I got this letter from Be Rooted that talks about me being an ambassador so hopefully i will have more cute packages from be rooted that i can share with you guys um be rooted is also be rooted is also um in target if you see anything in this box that you like you should be able to find it in target for sure um so first i got these really cute um crystal pins like at the top is actual like cute crystals um so i'm excited to write with these because they look cute i like cute stationery i really do and black owned cute stationery sign me up and i got this really cute bookmark look how cute this is like it's like a little jewel that hangs outside of the book and then this kind of gold piece just hooks inside of where the page is and hopefully i don't lose it because i have really bad luck <laughs> with bookmarks but this one is so cute i would be really annoyed with myself if i lost it and then this notebook is part of their new zodiac collection so, you know they had to represent, I have the Taurus notebook. <laughs> Bully gang, I have the Taurus notebook and I, I love it. It feels so smooth, like it's soft. It's not no like hard, cheap material, like it is soft, smooth. Um, let me show you the pages. I, I'm scared to write in it, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared to write in it because this notebook is so cute and I have a lot of notebooks but you know I I'm always gonna ride out for things that say Taurus on it a Taurus mug a Taurus shirt whatever it said whatever item it is that has Taurus on it I want it and it says in the in the in the inside Taurus mantra I am most content when I feel relaxed yes i don't wait to be pampered i pamper myself yes i'm not afraid to work hard and i'm resilient these are my strengths yes ma'am <laughs> if you're a taurus drop down in the comments and give me a little bully gang emoji please i need to i need to find out where all my taurus is at because you know they be hating on us though but that's okay they love us but they be hating on us what else did i get okay i also got this box from simon and schuster that i'm so excited about okay i got oh i got this I don't even know what to call it. Let's see. What do I want to call it? It's celebr it's called Purple Rising. Celebrating 40 years of the magic power and artistry of the color purple. The official behind the scenes book from page to stage to cinema and back again. So cute. Let me just show y'all. And there's like pictures from the new color purple, from the old color purple, from the Broadway show. Like, I, first of all, I love the color purple. I love the movie. I'm very much looking forward to seeing the new version of the color purple. I absolutely love the book. Like, I am just really, just give me all the color purple stuff. You know what I mean? Um, and another thing. I am going to be going to a advanced screening for the color purple before it comes out on Christmas Day. So I will be taking y'all with me. So look out for that in one of these videos. <laughs> I don't know which one is gonna be in, but it's I'm I'm gonna be in it's gonna be in one of these, right? Um and it also came with this really cute um 
this is a puzzle and the actual puzzle okay, the actual puzzle ooh, is the cover of this book how cute is that how cute if anything it's a really cute coffee table book and just for fans of the color purple like myself so that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you've read any of these please let me know so i will know how to prioritize them make sure you give this video a like if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time i post videos throughout the 12 days and i will catch you in the next one bye